What is up guys, Gronk here. I'm finally back to YouTube. I was on vacation all of last week so I couldn't do videos while I was up there. I'm very happy to be back doing videos again. I missed you guys. I missed doing videos. This video isn't any series for my channel. It's not uh, Timberwolves Association mode or my career or anything like that. This is just a channel update where I want to talk about my channel. So I'm thinking about the future guys and I'm just thinking that from Madden 25, I'm officially doing a Oakland Raiders connected franchise mode as an owner. That's official. It's not debatable. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I started a dynasty on Operation Sports for it. A dynasty is where you can write about what series, like what you're doing in video games. I mean, you could do a dynasty for basketball and NBA t association. You can do a dynasty for football with connected franchise mode or connected careers mode. So I'm doing a dynasty on Operation Sports for the Oakland Raiders connected franchise mode where I'll take over as the Oakland Raiders owner trying to rebuild the Raiders. So it will be definitely be different than my connected careers mode because this is connected franchise mode and I plan on relocating the Raiders, I'm not sure though, but back in Madden 25 it is the ability to import draft classes and 32 team control, so that's something I might mess around with in the Raiders connected franchise mode, just controlling all 32 teams to make it realistic. I don't know yet though, I don't know how it's going to work. Also for Madden 25, I'll be in an online league called the Red Zone. In that league, I will be controlling my favorite team, the Baltimore Ravens. Very excited for that. I also might do a connected franchise mode in the form of a player. I'm not sure, though. For NBA 2K14, I'm not sure if I'm getting it because not much is known about it right now. I don't know if it'll have association mode. I don't know if it'll have my career mode. There's not much is known about it. I mean, there's rumors that crew mode's coming back, but I'm not really a fan of that. That's just my opinion, though. So if NBA 2K14 has association mode and my career, I'll definitely be getting it and definitely be doing association and my career on this channel. So also, same thing goes for WWE 2K14. Not much is known about it. Today they announced that there's the 30 years of WrestleMania mode, and that's cool. And 2K worked on the gameplay, and that seems great and all. But I buy WWE video games for universe mode these days, so if 2K14 does not have universe mode, chances are I'm not going to get it, especially not immediately. But I'll have to see what happens there. But more information should be released about 2K14 as time goes on. Same thing goes for NBA, so it's just we'll have to wait and see kind of deal. I'm not sure what to do about NCAA. I mean, several times already I've gotten like, overwhelmed with vid videos that I've got recorded but not edited. Right now, I mean, I've got several things that I want to get out to you guys, and I just got back from vacation, so I need to get those videos out. Right before I left, I tried uploading a Universe Mode video, and THQ filed a copyright claim on it so I couldn't actually upload it, and that was pretty annoying, so I'll try to get that fixed. Basically today, I just want, I want, I'm trying to run by a schedule now where Universe Mode is Mondays for Monday Night Raw but I'll have to see if I can get that fixed. But for NCAA, I'm not sure. I, just, I don't want to have too many series. I want to focus on the sports that I actually like. I'm not a huge fan of college football. I'm a huge fan of NFL football. I'm becoming a big fan of basketball, and I'm a huge fan of WWE, but I'm not really a fan of college football, so I'm not sure if I'll be keeping NCAA 14, especially going with the series that I have going, the... Uh, Sorry guys, the Michigan State Dynasty, the SMU Online Dynasty, and the Rodi Gore. I'm not sure if I'll be sticking with those for my channel because I want to focus on what sports I really like. And college football is not one of those. Plus, money is tough right now. I mean, I, when I first thought about this, I briefly considered trading in NCAA 14 but, so I could get basically like almost as much as I originally paid for it. But I don't know if I'll do that because I want to have the draft classes for my Raiders Connected Franchise mode. And although there's the Madden Share where you can download rosters, I don't know if that will feature the ability to download draft classes. So I'm probably going to keep it, but I'm not going to sell it. But I don't know if I'll keep doing the series on my channel. I'm not sure, guys. I have to think about it. I have time before Madden 25 comes out. But I am starting school soon, so that's going to be a huge change for my channel because I started this channel at the beginning of the summer where I was just sitting at home most of the time not at school for most of the day and not having homework or anything. I mean, I had summer work. I have a lot of summer work, actually, and I don't have a lot of it done. But anyway, school will be starting soon. Like I think that starts September 5th, so it's just going to be different for me. But I'm not going to like quit on this channel. I'll try to have a consistent schedule. It shouldn't be too hard, but I am letting you guys know that school is starting soon. But I mentioned selling NCAA because money is tough right now. I've got a lot of stuff I want to get. I, re I want to get NBA and WWE, but I need to know more about them. I'm not going to get them without knowing anything about them. I'm only going to get them if they have the game modes that I want, as I talked about earlier. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Just 
at least for the channel update, now I can talk about the gameplay, but just know that Madden 25 coming out soon. I'm not, I might not start the Connected Franchise mode with the Raiders immediately. I might fool around with the Connected Franchise mode a little before I start my actual Raiders series, but I'll definitely just show you guys some just me playing around in Connected Franchise mode in Madden 25 once I get it. Plus, the Madden 25 demo comes out tomorrow, so I'll definitely be ha having videos for that on my channel. I'm very excited for that. It's The two games available are my Baltimore Ravens and the 49ers, the Super Bowl matchup from this past year, Super Bowl 47, which the Ravens would win. And I think it's the Packers and the Seahawks, and I think they're doing that game because the Seahawks are a pretty fun team to do, and the Packers are successful, plus the Fail Mary, some call it, the one the Seahawks beat the Packers early on in the season because of the replacement refs ruling a touchdown instead of an interception, or something like that, I don't even remember. I don't follow either of those teams very closely, but when I was deciding what team to do for Madden 25, at first it was a real toss-up. I didn't know what team I wanted to do. I mean, I, the, really, I, I was willing to do any team besides the teams that I really don't like, like the Steelers and stuff like that. I want, But then I wanted to do a rebuilding team, so that narrowed it down a little. Then I really wanted to do a relocation franchise, like I could do a relocation for the Raiders, the Jaguars. I was thinking about the Bills, because they have an old stadium. Maybe even the Browns, but then I just kept feeling this want to do the Raiders. Mr. Hurricane, a great guy on YouTube, most of you probably watch him, I'm not going to make any assumptions though, but he's one of the biggest sports gaming guys on YouTube. He's like one of my favorite channels on YouTube. He did the Raiders for Madden 13, Connected Careers Mode, and I thought it was a lot of fun, and I want to rebuild the Raiders, so I am going to be the Raiders. But, as I said, 32 team control is back in Madden 25, so I might be able to do more than just the Raiders and kind of focus on other teams at other times as well. I mean, I don't know yet, guys. It's going to be d definitely a fun experience, different from Madden 13. So getting back in the gameplay, this was just a random match between the Cavaliers and the Dallas Mavericks. I was playing as the Cavaliers. I wasn't really focused on the gameplay. If you guys are watching the gameplay, I wasn't playing very well. I was multitasking. I was doing stuff on my computer. I was trying to play the game. I was just doing a lot of stuff at once. Usually when I'm playing stuff for series, I won't do that. I'll focus on the game. But in this game, I was doing several things at once. So I wasn't focusing on the gameplay. I wasn't playing very well. And I wind up... I didn't play the whole game. I just played the first quarter, which would be enough time for me to talk. But... I wound up being down and technically losing the game because I only played the first quarter. The Mavericks are a pretty good team. Some people think that they're old and they only have Dirk Nowitzki and that's not gonna or Nowitzki and that's not gonna last them very long. They got Monta Ellis in real life, and I don't know how far that will take them. And the Cavaliers are a rebuilding team. They've got Kyrie Irving, one of the best young players in the NBA. But other than that, not much talent around him. But they should develop at least in a few years and become a better team. And once they add, they added several free agents like Jarrett Jack, so they'll probably be good in a few years. But ever since losing LeBron James, they've just definitely been a rebuilding team. But Gibson running with the ball now. Passes to Miles, passes to Ellington, passes to Gibson. Good ball movement here. Gibson, I think he's a pretty old, actually. Gibson, inside shot, no good. Crowder with the rebound. Pass to Collison. crossover almost. Vince Carter was doing work all game long. I mean, he hit a few three-point shots. He had some layups. I just couldn't stop and I thought it was unrealistic, but Carlson gets the shot to go, making it I think that's a two-point game. But the Cavaliers really don't look so good, especially when Kyrie Irving is not on the court, because otherwise they don't have a lot of talent around him. I know Gibson running with the ball takes a shot, and it's good and that ties up the game. So I'll try to get a Universe Mode video out later today, and probably if I don't get the Universe Mode video out today, I'll try to get it out tomorrow with a raw review. Otherwise, uh, just going to try to go with a um, schedule, something like Universe Mode for Monday, and I don't really know, guys. I'm trying to figure out a schedule, and nothing's really set in stone yet. I don't know yet, but I, I like the idea of doing Universe Mode on Monday, so then I can re at least preview Monday Night Raw. I don't know yet. Ellington with the ball now. Pass to Gibson, and he's got, he gets double teamed and pass to Verajal, and Verajal with a great dunk. One handed slam. They double teamed, and then Verajal was left wide open, and he dunked it. Very nice play, and now it's tied up again. So now Mavericks with the ball. 
trying to move here. Carter with the ball. Now he's got a screen and he dribbles. But bad pass by Vince Carter. Ellington with a steal. Pass to Gibson running up court on the fast break. Passes to Ellington who misses. An ugly shot there. Bad shot selection, bad shot execution. And Carter, as I said, drives inside and scores. Old man Vince Carter getting it done for the Mavericks in this game. Ellington now trying to tie the game back up. Pass to Verizal. Verizal very good at rebounding. Pass to Gibson trying to drive inside. Pass to Ellington. Pretty good shot, but he misses again. Almost got the rebound, but the Mavericks running down court now. Vince Carter with the ball fakes out Verizal. Or Verizal. Wow. Sorry guys, don't know how to pronounce that, but Collison with the ball. He's a three-point specialist. We gotta watch out and be careful with him. Pass to Brand, and it's good. Mavericks, good ball movement, good pass there to a wide open. I think that's Elton Brand, and he was wide open for the score. Gibson with the ball now. It's a four-point game towards the end of the first quarter. But a terrible pass, and it's a Mavericks ball again. Pass to Crowder. Gives it to Vince Carter. Vince Carter used to be one of the best dunkers in the game but as he's gotten older, but there Crowder scores on a nice jump shot to decide to let it fly, and he got to go. But Carter, regressing pretty rapidly in my opinion, he's not as good as he once was. I, and I know this, and I'm not even a huge basketball fan, I just got into basketball really at the start of these NBA playoffs, but I do know Carter used to be good and now isn't so good anymore. But we just, as I said, I wasn't really focusing on the game when I was playing. I was doing a lot of stuff at once, but just a lot of turnovers and ugly basketball all around. Pass to Carter, and he misses that time. But Mavericks get the rebound. Crowder with the ball. Back to right. Back to Collison. Three-point specialist. Got to be careful. Carter with the ball again. Takes a shot and misses again. And now Gibson with the rebound to Maurice Spaeth. And Miles drives on corner. What a dunk from C.J. Miles. What a dunk. One-handed slam. Getting up there. Very nice. Good job. Mavericks with the ball now. Pretty much the end of the first quarter. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm glad to be back to YouTube after vacation. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.